everybody. You're watching Time Warner Cable Channel 101's Antique Adventures. We're highlighting vintage guitars. I'm your host, Ben McCain. We're at Norman's Rare Guitars in Tarzana. This is a paradise for those who love stringed instruments. I mean, it's a little slice of heaven. I mean, it's utopia for guitar players. We'll meet the owner in just a moment. We're here with Norman Harris. He's the fellow who started Norman's Rare Guitars in Tarzana. Norman, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How did you get started? Well, I was a musician and not making a lot of money. And uh, I figured that uh, I saw some ads in the newspaper and I had some buddies of mine that played guitar. I figured maybe I could buy some of these guitars and sell them and kind of pick up a little money in the daytime and go play my gig at night. And uh, my plan B kind of became my plan A. Wow, this is an incredible place. Now, where I grew up, you're not supposed to ask a man how many cows he has. That's kind of personal. But let me ask you, is it an insult to ask you how many guitars you have? It's not an insult. Well, how many guitars do you have? I don't know, <laughs> but I got a lot of them. I got a lot. Hey, I shit. would say probably several thousand. Wow, and I'm you have a warehouse. Store. You not only yes, have a I store, do. but you have a personal warehouse. Absolutely, I do. Show me one of the rare guitars that uh, you brought out of your warehouse to show us here on Time Warner Cable Channel 101. I'll be happy to get all the Maltese Falcon right here. This is what got most people into collecting guitars. This is a 1960 Les Paul standard. And these are some of the most valuable guitars that there are. Um, this guitar I pulled out of my warehouse, this guitar would probably go for over $300,000. Wow. This is a major, major collectible. Um, there's a few other things that I have here that I pulled out also that are really cool. This is a Fender, it's called the Nocaster. This is one of the very first Fender guitars ever made in 1951. So, um, very low serial number. This is number 1000 in the lid. And uh, there's you know some play wear on it, but this guitar is still in very good shape considering how old it is. And, it's, and these are all fully original, which is very important in guitar collecting, that no mods have been done. Now, in terms of jazz guitars, this is the Maltese Falcon of jazz guitars. This is a D'Angelico New Yorker. And as you can see, uh, it's got very Art Deco um, trappings on here, the headstock. Um, just an amazing guitar. This is a 1961. And uh, it's, this is what every jazz guitar player dreams of. And this is in fabulous condition as well. And then when it comes to flat top guitars, this is a 1928 Martin 042. Now a lot of the top of the line Martin guitars uh, had mother of pearl trim around the outside of the top. And that was only on the high end Martins. Um, and this guitar is in fabulous shape, 1928, and uh, hopefully in a little while we're going to get Johnny to uh, play some of these things and show you why people are so into these things. In the next half of the show. The Thank you very much. First ever made with musician Johnny Lee Shell. Johnny, how you doing? Well, I couldn't be in a better place. Uh, if you like guitars, this is the place to be. As we said in the first uh, first half of the show, it's like utopia. It's like a little slice of heaven. It's uh, like paradise if you like stringed instruments. A kid in the candy store. And, the and you're the one that turned us on to this place. How long have you been coming to Norm's? Norm's been around since, oh, golly. I've probably known Norm for about 20 years. Wow. A lot of you folks will recognize him. He tours with John Fogarty. You toured with John, Bonnie Ray, Taj Mahal. You did the music for the Jim Belushi show for years. Uh, what's uh, what's the key to your success? I mean, you just keep doing it. Ten uh, percent inspiration and ninety percent perspiration. <laughs> hey, pick a little bit for us if you don't mind. Is that enough? Oh, that you. you, you. Yes, pay me if I play long. <laughs> I first met Johnny Shell because of Jamie Lee Curtis, the actress. Butch and I were interviewing her, and she said, where are you guys from? I said, Bovina, Texas. And she said, how close is that to Farwell? I said, about 12 miles. And she said, well, this great musician, Johnny Lee Shell's from Farwell. I said, i got to meet this guy. So you've toured the world. In fact, you graduated from Farwell High and started touring with the band, and then came out to California, and you just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, we were like a regional band, you know. We were based in Amarillo, but we played in about 40 states. So we traveled around a lot, and then when that kind of gave out, 